Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Blog. It's Allie, and today we have a full ship tour of Carnival Jubilee. Carnival Jubilee is the newest ship from Carnival Cruise Line in the Excel class. She is the third ship to debut in the Excel class for Carnival Cruise Line, along with her sisters, Carnival Celebration and Mardi Gras. During this full ship tour, we will be giving you all of the tips and tricks about everything you can expect to find on board this beautiful and massive cruise ship. Now let's get started with the tour. First, we'll get started with the pool deck. The pool deck for Carnival Jubilee is located on deck 16 midship. So there is one main pool on Carnival Jubilee along with one main hot tub that guests can enjoy during their cruise. Surrounded by the pool is plenty of sun loungers. These are all free to use. The pool deck for Carnival Jubilee really is where all the fun happens on board. There are people of all ages using this pool really any day of the cruise, whether it's a port day or a sea day. Obviously, a sea day will be much busier, but there really wasn't ever too many people, in my opinion, in this area. We were always able to find a chair. We could also go swimming if we wanted. So if you're someone who enjoys spending your day on the pool deck where all the fun is happening, you shouldn't have a problem getting a sun lounger in this area. Along with the main pool on this deck, you can also find one large hot tub. This is available for guests to use and it's one of the main hot tubs on the ship. So this often felt busy compared to the main pool in our experience. In addition, the pool deck has a large screen here where you can come and find movies that play throughout the day and into the evening. So be sure to check your cruise schedule so you can see when those are playing. Another great area to relax is on deck 17 right above the pool deck. So if you're someone who wants to be close to the action but a little bit further away, you can find sun loungers that surround the pool up on deck 17. This is also a great spot during the sail away if you want to watch all the action happening below but don't necessarily want to be in the crowd with all of the fun. Another reason that I'm a big fan of deck 17 is because you can find these day beds. So these are free to use. You do not need to reserve them, but there are day beds surrounded on deck 17, but you'll have to get up early if you want to snag one of these. There's nothing quite like a cocktail on the pool deck while you're cruising and the main bar for the pool deck is the Red Frog Tiki Bar. So this is also located on deck 16. This is a signature carnival bar. So you'll find a tiki themed menu with different fun fruity cocktails. This is actually a two story bar on Carnival Jubilee and you can bet that this is a very popular, very busy spot. It was hard to grab a drink here most of the times that we went to look, but the service was very fast for those who were getting drinks. Red Frog Tiki Bar has additional seating right outside of the Lidl Marketplace. So this is a good spot if you wanna bring your food out to the pool deck while also maybe grabbing a drink from the bar or if you just don't want to eat in a lounger but still want to be outside. Now, if you're cruising on Carnival Jubilee, you can expect to have a lot of fun literally from the moment you get on board. So the first big deck party is the sail away party. And this is a can't miss for Carnival Cruise Line in general. And Carnival Jubilee is no exception to this. This is where pretty much everyone on board comes to the pool deck. The cruise director plays awesome hits with the DJ and everyone just celebrates the start of their vacation. Then late at night, you can find deck parties that are a lot of fun as well. So on Carnival Jubilee, there are two main deck parties in the evening. This is the 80s Rock and Glow Party and the White Hot Night Party. These deck parties are very popular in the night and they usually last around an hour, but you can find, again, a lot of really fun music playing late into the night. And it's just so fun to have a late night party like this on a cruise ship because it's really not anything that you can experience on land. So I would highly suggest if you can stay up late that you should attend one of these night parties on Carnival Jubilee. All right, now let's see what we have for food options around the pool deck on Carnival Jubilee. First, you can find one of the ice cream machines here called Swirls. So this is a self-serve ice cream area where you can get 
chocolate and vanilla soft serve ice cream. It is so creamy and delicious. They also have frozen yogurt as well. You can grab a bowl or a cone and serve yourself up a ice cream cone. Located not too far is the Blue Iguana Cantina. So this is another complimentary option on Carnival Jubilee where you can get burritos and tacos throughout the day. In addition, they have breakfast here that you can enjoy in the morning. So they serve breakfast burritos and breakfast tacos with eggs, breakfast meat, all the fixings. It is really delicious along with all of these options for salsas, cheeses, sour cream, hot sauce, pretty much anything you can imagine putting on a burrito or taco you can find here. All of the food is served fresh. So the chicken is freshly shredded. It is just a really great option on the pool deck. In addition, you can find street eats. So this is Carnival's concept of almost like food trucks. So there are a few different food stands here. Right now we're looking at time fries. So they have different fries and each day they have a different kind of fry concoction. So this was us enjoying a sweet potato fry concoction, which was really, really yummy and so good on the pool deck just for a little snack. There's also seafood shack. This costs a little bit extra. So you can see here anywhere from eight to 15 to $30, depending on what you want to order. There's also Steam Dream where you can get little bow buns. And then located on deck 17 is where you will find one of Carnival's most popular complimentary dining options, which is Guy's Burger Joint. So this is with partnership Guy Fieri. He is the famous celebrity chef, but they have fresh juicy burgers here with multiple different menu options that you can choose from for different toppings. But the burgers are made fresh right in front of you with fresh cut fries. It is unbelievably delicious. So you will definitely want to check this out if you are on Carnival Jubilee. They have a toppings bar here where you can get anything that you could imagine. Again, putting on a burger such as caramelized onions or pickles, and then they have these homemade sauces as well. Guy's Burger Joint has a seating area here where you can enjoy your burger. In my experience, this area does get pretty busy, so I often took my burger downstairs right below to the marketplace. Now let's move towards the front of the ship with deck 18 and we will start with Serenity, which is the adults only area on board. Serenity wraps around the very front of Carnival Jubilee and it has its very own pool. So Serenity is only available to guests who are 21 years or older and this space is meant to be quiet, tranquil. There's not any music playing here. In general, people are here to relax and this is just a nice place for adults to come or even parents who wanna get away from their kids. There are also hot tub options here and these very comfortable day beds. You don't have to reserve these. These are complimentary and Serenity has its very own bar as well. So if you are looking to get a poolside drink, I would suggest coming to the Serenity bar because the Red Frog Tiki bar in our experience was much busier. Serenity has its own bar menu, so you can get very quick, easy service, and they also walk around asking if you want any sort of pool drink. So I loved spending my afternoons here in Serenity because I don't have kids and I just really appreciated the quiet space. Serenity also has fresh creations. So this is a salad bar that you can come and build your own salad. So something a little bit healthier, which is nice to offset all of the delicious greasy food. Fresh creations had some unique hours. So be sure to check your daily fun time schedule to see when the salad bar is open. Typically it was open for lunch on sea days. But Serenity has padded loungers, padded day beds, and these are awesome spots just to overlook the ocean, especially on a sea day. Again, it's very quiet. You don't really hear a lot of noise from the pool deck either. So if you're looking just to get away, relax and unwind, this is a really nice spot to do that on Carnival Jubilee. And next we'll be working upwards to Loft 19 on deck 19 forward. Loft 19 is an exclusive area, so you can only access this space if you have purchased access to Loft 19 during your cruise. Some of the high-end suites on board also provide access to Loft 19, 
Within Loft 19, you can see that there are some very nice loungers in here and it doesn't accommodate a ton of guests and that's on purpose. It is meant to be an exclusive area. There is also an infinity pool in Loft 19 that overlooks Serenity. So if you're looking to have a more exclusive experience and maybe retreat from a lot of the busy areas on board, Loft 19 is a great place to do so. There are cabana areas, there are really comfortable loungers and day beds. Everything here is meant to feel upscale and more luxurious, almost like a beach club on board. This space, again, is meant to be very quiet and relaxing, especially because of its proximity to Serenity on board. Now let's make our way to the back of deck 18 and this is where guests can find the ultimate playground on Carnival Jubilee. You can enjoy a wide variety of fun activities here, especially for kids. This is where you'll find Bolt, the ultimate sea coaster, along with a complimentary ropes course, the sports court, the Waterworks Water Park, and mini golf. The Waterworks Water Park is a very fun area for kids and adults alike, honestly. If you're an adult who loves water parks or onboard thrills, I would highly recommend riding on these water slides. These are a lot of fun and go pretty fast. So I would definitely take a turn on those. And this waterworks area has a, a big water bucket that dumps water periodically. There is a splash zone area for kids. So if you have a, a smaller child who doesn't want to do the big water slide, there are smaller options as well in a little splash pad area too. In addition, you can find the miniature golf here in the ultimate playground. This is of course free to do. You can just grab a club, grab a golf ball and take your turn putt putting around with the ocean views. Doesn't get much better than that. This course is a lot of fun, again, for adults and kids alike. So if you are a family on board Carnival Jubilee, you will probably be spending a lot of time here on the back of deck 18. The sports court is also located here. So this is where a lot of the older kids were playing and basketball seemed to be the game of choice almost every time that we walked around in this area. So there's always a pickup game you can join and then there are also organized activities on the sports court as well for kids. Another really exciting feature of the Ultimate Playground is this ropes course. So this is another complimentary onboard thrill that you can do while you're on Carnival Jubilee. This is an obstacle course that takes place above deck 18 and there are different kind of maneuvers that you have to do while you are strapped in and even a zip line that goes over the side of the ship. So this is a pretty nice onboard amenity considering it is complimentary and it is open for kids and adults alike. The ultimate playground also has a walking path around the area and these very comfortable day beds. I spent one of my afternoons on board in this day bed and it is a really nice place to stay, although it is not necessarily quiet. The walking path on Carnival Jubilee here located in the ultimate playground wraps around the entirety of the ultimate playground. So because of that, you will have to walk by the waterworks area and the bolt entrance. And because of this, the walking path can get kind of crowded, especially during peak busy times. And while those are the main attractions for the ultimate playground, there are also foosball tables along with an area where you can play cornhole. And of course, we can't talk about the ultimate playground without talking about Bolt. This is the onboard roller coaster on Carnival Jubilee. So this first debuted on Mardi Gras and it was the first roller coaster at sea. Unfortunately, Bolt is not complimentary. You will need to spend $15 per guest and that allows you two laps around Bolt's track. While we didn't ride Bolt on this cruise, I have ridden it on Carnival Celebration. And I will say it is pretty thrilling and does go very fast. I was worried that it would feel kind of like a, a kid's roller coaster, but it is quite thrilling as an adult, although it is a little bit steep in price for two laps around. So if you are on board with kids, there is a good chance that you will be spending a lot of time here in the ultimate playground. This is just a great spot to hang out, whether it's a sea day or a port day, I'd recommend coming to do the onboard thrills at the beginning of your cruise in case there is weather later on in the voyage that doesn't allow you to do so. And also to come try these activities while the ship is still docked in port, like around that two or three o'clock mark is the sweet spot to come and give these a try without having a huge line. 
Now let's move on to the warehouse. This is the onboard arcade located on deck 17 midship. Of course, as you can imagine, this is a very popular spot on board. So if you love to play video games, you are definitely in luck because Carnival Jubilee has a pretty big onboard arcade. The video arcade boasts a huge array of games and it's open for players of all ages and it's open 24 hours a day. You'll need to get tokens from the vending machine and that will be charged to your onboard account. But once you have those tokens, the fun begins. Conveniently located not too far from the arcade is Club 02. This is located on deck 17 midship, and this is the teen club for ages 15 to 17. Compared to Camp Ocean for the younger kids, the Club 02 is meant to be a teen hangout spot, so it has more of a lounge feel rather than having a bunch of kiddie games. Hanging out in Club O2 involves doing things like watching movies, listening to music, playing sports and video games, or even joining in a karaoke jam session. Carnival even has its own version of prom with all other high schoolers aged 15 to 17. This is included in the cost of your cruise. So if you're cruising with teenagers between 15 and 17, I would highly recommend that they check out Club O2. It's a great spot to meet other teens the same age. And personally speaking, I had great luck growing up with the teen club on cruise ships. Now for the younger teens, you can find Circle C located on deck 17 midship. This is the onboard spot where the younger teens aged 12 to 14 can go to hang out, meet friends and enjoy some really awesome activities. So all of these are supervised by the friendly and fun loving counselors on board and they are there to make sure that your teens have the best vacation ever. So. If you have a young teen who is at that age where maybe hanging out with mom and dad isn't as cool, but you're worried about them having free reign on the cruise ship, then definitely check out Circle C. Now, of course, being on a cruise is all about the food. So let's take a look at some of the other dining options that you can find on Carnival Jubilee. The next area that we're gonna be exploring is the Lido Marketplace on deck 16 located midship. This is the main buffet on board Carnival Jubilee. So this is where you can find breakfast, lunch, and dinner served throughout the day, every day of your cruise. And of course, because it is the onboard buffet, it's typically very busy. This is the go-to spot for many cruisers on board, especially for breakfast in the mornings before excursions. So if you are looking for a quieter area to have breakfast, then I would not come to the buffet here in the morning, but those who do need to come to the Lido Marketplace Buffet will find a nice variety of breakfast items, everything from eggs to French toast to bagels and more. You can also have made to order omelets. And then starting in the afternoon, they start to make the homemade gelato. This is one of my favorite things to eat at the Lido Marketplace. So if you're looking for a break from the ice cream machine, then I would highly suggest coming to the marketplace and trying one of the daily gelato flavors. Two of the main stations here are the shawarma station and the sea dog station. So if you're looking for a shawarma pita or even just a hot dog, you can get that every single day here in the Lido marketplace. There is also a beverages area. This is where you will find the coffee in the morning. It's a complimentary drip coffee along with a few different creamer options and sugars. And then they have juices, lemonade and tea as well as the soda machine for those who have the soda packages. Another fun feature is the beer station. So this is a pour your own beer in the Lido marketplace and if you're getting tired of waiting at the bar, this is a good option for you. In addition, even if you're not eating the food at the Lido Marketplace, this is just a great spot to come eat whatever you are having, whether that's Guy's Burger Joint, Blue Iguana Cantina, or even Big Chicken. There's plenty of seating. Overall, the Lido Marketplace has a nice variety for food, but I do feel like Carnival Jubilee has other places that I prefer to eat other than the buffet. Speaking of some of my favorite places to eat on board, let's take a look at Big Chicken located on deck 16 in the aft of the ship. 
Big Chicken is a complimentary dining option on board Carnival Jubilee, and they serve up juicy, crispy chicken sandwiches and tenders throughout the day. You can also get breakfast here in the morning. They have a chicken and egg biscuit sandwich along with just an egg, cheese, and meat type of breakfast sandwich as well. This to me was the best dining option on board Carnival Jubilee. You can get a variety of different sandwiches that they have along with these fresh cut fries and then homemade sauces. The barbecue ranch was my absolute favorite. Our go-to order at Big Chicken is the Big Aristotle, which is a chicken sandwich with an onion ring, bacon, and Munster cheese, along with some barbecue sauce. It is heavenly. Big Chicken also has some outdoor seating here at the back of the ship if you're wanting to eat outside, but the Lidl Marketplace buffet is also right inside the doors. So on hot days, this is where we tended to eat our Big Chicken rather than sitting outside. Now there's actually another pool area on Carnival Jubilee called the Tides Pool located on deck 16 at the aft of the ship. This is a fairly nice size pool along with two hot tubs for guests to use. And since it's located at the back of the ship, it has really stunning views of the ship's wake. There are also nice lounger chairs around here. And in our experience, this was kind of a nice place to come for the pool if you didn't wanna be on the main pool deck. The Tides Pool also has Tides Bar located right there if you are looking for a poolside drink. You can get a variety of cocktails made here. Tide's Bar doesn't have its own special unique menu. Instead, this is just the standard carnival drink menu with a variety of different cocktails you can order. In addition, there is a Swirls station located in the Tide's Pool area. This is where you can get that frozen yogurt and the fresh ice cream in a self-serve cone or dish. And what could be better than a cocktail by the pool? Well, a fresh ice cream cone by the pool. In general, the Tides Pool area is a really nice spot to hang out, especially because it's located at the back of the ship. It's a little bit quieter because you don't hear the music and the commotion from the pool area, but it's still pretty popular because of the, the hot tubs and the infinity style pool overlooking the ocean and Big Chicken is a popular spot as well. Now we'll make our way to Summer Landing. This is a different zone on Carnival where you'll find kind of like a 4th of July barbecue. There is Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse along with the Veterans Lounge and the Carnival Store. If you're wanting some Carnival merch, then the Carnival Store is the place for you. You can find all sorts of different Carnival branded shirts, t-shirts, jackets, sweaters, hats, water bottles, you name it. You can also find Jubilee specific merch here. So they have Carnival Jubilee inaugural season shirts that are very fun if you're someone who's into inaugural season sailing. They also have Texas styled merchandise in here. So because Carnival Jubilee was built to sail from Texas, you can find some really cute Texas styled merchandise in here. Located outside of the Carnival store is the Heroes Tribute Lounge located on deck eight aft. So again, this is located in Summer Landing and this is meant to be a space dedicated to our country's veterans. So everywhere here, you can find different patches and flight suits and different medals and honors. And it's also a great spot to watch any sort of sporting event or game on these very comfortable chairs and loungers. And of course, there is another Swirls station located here in the Heroes Tribute Lounge. You can self-serve that Froyo and ice cream. This is also a nice place to come get dessert if you're eating at the Pig and Anchor Smokehouse if you want a little ice cream with whatever you're having. The Heroes Tribute Lounge is a really nice space on Carnival Jubilee. They have this on Carnival Celebration and Mardi Gras as well. And I really appreciate the ode to our service members here as a military spouse myself. You can also find foosball tables and other kind of table games here, really leaning into that picnic theme. And now we'll look at Pig and Anchor Smokehouse. The Pig and Anchor Smokehouse is another complimentary dining option on board Carnival Jubilee. And this is again with a partnership with Guy Fieri. So this is where you will find Smokehouse barbecue for lunch and dinner. And they also serve breakfast in the morning. They just have typical eggs, bacon kind of buffet self-serve. 
If you dine here for lunch, it is a buffet style, while dinner is a sit down, a la carte type of ordering system where you mark down what you want on the sheet and then they bring you the meal. Everything here is very delicious. We ate here two nights for dinner because we loved the barbecue so much. My personal favorite was the pulled pork and the brisket along with the onion strings and the mac and cheese. For dessert, we splurged and spent $5 on this brownie sundae, and I will say that it was worth every single dollar. It's kind of silly to spend money on dessert when you're on a cruise, but this was definitely worth it. They also have live music here in the evening, so while you might be thinking of other places on board to spend your night, don't forget about Summer Landing by the Pig and Anchor Smokehouse. They have live music, and then you can also find Flavor Town. This is the onboard brewery for Carnival Jubilee, and they actually brew their own beer on the ship. So that is pretty unique, and you can find a special menu for Flavortown to go along with your evening at the picnic. <laughs> Late into the evening, Pig and Anchor Smokehouse also serves late night bites. So if you are wanting a little something to eat late into the evening around 10, 11, 12, you can come here and they have pizza, chicken tenders, just a lot of really yummy late night snacks. And here we can see the lunch buffet being served for the Pig and Anchor Smokehouse. So you'll find pretty much the same menu that they serve for dinner, but it is buffet style. So if you're not wanting to wait in the evening, this is a really great option to try that complimentary barbecue. And right outside Summer Landing is the patio located on deck eight at the back of the ship. So we have another pool space here with some pool loungers and again, a really nice view of the ship's wake. On the side of the ships at Summer Landing, there are also two hot tubs. So if you are having trouble finding space in the other hot tubs on board, this is a really good spot to come check out because there's not always a lot of people here because a lot of people tend to go to the pool deck instead. And you will even find your own bar called the watering hole. So this is the bar located outside on deck eight near the summer landing zone. The watering hole doesn't have its own special menu. Instead, it is just the classic carnival drink menu with a lot of the go-to drink options. And then surrounding Summer Landing, you can find plenty of comfortable chairs and even some day beds with umbrellas. All of these are complimentary and free to use. So overall, Deck 8 and Summer Landing, these are really nice places to spend your day, especially if you're wanting to be outside, but maybe not up on the pool deck. Deck 8 actually wraps all the way around the back of the ship. So you'll find the pool along with these padded loungers and really comfortable chairs and these umbrellas along with your own hot tubs and bar. So if you're wanting to be outside, but avoid the hecticness of the pool deck, I highly recommend checking out Deck 8 for some nice, comfortable and quiet spots on board. Now let's move to the main dining rooms. And first we'll start with the Pacific restaurant, which spans across deck six and seven. The Pacific restaurant is one of two main dining rooms on board Carnival Jubilee. It's located at the back of the ship. So all of the windows have these really beautiful views of the ship's wake, especially if you're just leaving port and you can watch the sunset. This is a great place to have dinner during that time. The dining room is both beautiful and stylish with these dazzling chandeliers from the ceiling and not to mention the food here is delicious. They have sea day brunch on, you guessed it, sea days and this usually goes until the afternoon and they have a special sea day brunch menu. These are two of my favorite dishes, the skillet pancake and the 12 hour French toast. For dinner, you can also dine here every single night for a multi-course meal. We dined here two or three nights during our cruise and we were very impressed with the service and the food for all of the times that we dined here. You'll have either a set dining time or a choose your own time. So we had choose your own time and that means that we just had to request a table when we wanted to come have dinner during the evening. The other are set dining times, usually an early and a late seating. The dining room is also a lot of fun. Every night they have some sort of little show, whether that's a singer or the waiters all start to sing and dance. Regardless, it's just a very fun atmosphere like everything else on Carnival Jubilee. 
The other main dining room on board is called the Atlantic Restaurant. This one is located on deck six midship. This is the smaller dining room, so it's more likely that you will be dining in the Pacific Restaurant, but there are some people who are assigned the Atlantic Restaurant for dinner, and this is also where you normally come if you are attending the afternoon tea or if you do the green eggs and ham breakfast. While Carnival is known for its really delicious, quick, casual food, I will say that we had really good experiences in the main dining room for the meals that we ate there. Here you can see us having the creme brulee, and of course, if you eat in the dining room, you absolutely have to have the Carnival chocolate melting cake. This is a must have on any Carnival cruise, and Carnival Jubilee does it wonderfully. Now we're gonna move into another zone on board and this is the currents area. So Carnival Jubilee has an ocean theme overall. This was something that apparently Carnival had wanted to do for a while as cruise ships, they operate in the ocean. So this was just a way to celebrate the sea and their commitment to keeping the oceans clean with all of their sustainability efforts. Currents is a unique zone on Carnival Jubilee as each of the Excel ships have a different theme here. This is where you can also find two of the new bars on board, which is Dr. Inc's PhD and also Golden Mermaid. So Golden Mermaid is located on deck six midship for the Currents zone. This is a beautiful bar that you'll only find on Carnival Jubilee. It has its own unique menu. So there are different mermaid ocean themed cocktails. Every drink we tried here was really fun and they have some sort of extra special touch like glitter or color changing sauces. So here you can see me enjoying the Atlantic Potion. This was a really fun blue curacao based drink with a color changing liquor. And it was as delicious as it was beautiful. Overall, Golden Mermaid was probably our favorite bar on board because we enjoyed the drinks here the most and we found it had the quickest service. Also, most evenings there is a live performer here, so if you are someone who likes to listen to live music, this is a great place to come and grab a cocktail as they have live music into the evening. Also located in Currents is the new bar Dr. Inks PhD. If you didn't catch on, that spells drinks. Um, it took me a while to get onto that, I am embarrassed to admit, but this is a new bar on Carnival Jubilee that also has its own unique menu with cocktails you can only find at this bar. Very similar to Golden Mermaid, they have unique flair, special touches. Some of them are served with a disappearing bubble. This was the sea foam cocktail, which is served with blue foam on top and it's a coconut based cocktail. They had an entire menu of very fun drinks to try. Unfortunately, I didn't have a drink package, so I was only able to try one or two drinks here within my budget. But if you have a drink package, this would be a great place to come and try out some really fun and unique crafted cocktails. Also in Currents, you can find live music here almost every single evening that starts around 4 or 5 p.m. So again, if you're someone who likes a cocktail and a little bit of live music, this is a very busy and bustling place, but also a very fun place to come and just have a happy hour. In Currents is where you will find a specialty dining option called Emerald's Bistro 717. So although this is a specialty dining restaurant, I will say that the prices are very reasonable, right around six to eight to ten dollars for entrees. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner served here. We have only dined at Emeralds for breakfast, but they also have fresh seafood in the evenings, and it's a very popular place whether you're having breakfast, lunch, or dinner. We love the Bananas Foster crepe and then also the breakfast Creole sandwich, which is served on a croissant. And a hot tip, they do have specialty coffee here if you're someone who wants a latte or a cappuccino. The other coffee shop, Java Blue Cafe, can get busy in the mornings. So if you want a latte or a cappuccino, you can come here because they do make specialty coffee. One other fun area in Currents is Carnival Kitchen. So this is where you can sign up for classes for an extra fee and you can actually take cooking or baking classes right here on the cruise ship. This is a very unique aspect to the Excel class ships, something that I have never seen on a cruise ship before I stepped on board one of these big vessels, but you will want to book these well in advance because they do book up very quick and they're very popular. Something that's really fun about the Currents Zone is that they have these large LED screens that are mounted on the upper walls and ceilings of the area. This entire space is made to feel like you are 
in a submarine under the ocean floor. And it's just a, a really fun aspect that really contributes to the ocean theme. Now let's move to the Piano Bar 88 located on deck six midship. If you're someone who loves a good sing-along or a piano moment, then this is where you will want to come in the evenings. The Piano Bar here has a live pianist who takes requests on the spot and you can sit right at the piano at a bar and sing along with all of the tunes. As you can imagine, this is a very lively and fun place in the evenings as everyone is having a drink and singing along. Just a really fun atmosphere if this is your cup of tea. Also located on deck six is the very popular Punch Liner Comedy Club. So this is located right near Piano Bar 88 and you know Carnival is best known for having its comedians on board. They employ more comedians than any other company in the world. You can come here multiple times throughout the day for daily comedy shows. They have rotating comedians who have anything from family friendly to explicit comedy shows. So if you want to have a good laugh, make sure you check out the Punchliner Comedy Club in the evenings or even throughout the day while you are at sea. Now let's move to Java Blue Cafe, which is located also on deck six midship. This is a very popular cafe because it is where you will find the specialty coffee on board. If you're someone who wants an espresso, possibly a spiked coffee, or even a milkshake, this is where you will want to come. Unfortunately, when I tried to come here during my cruise, it was very, very popular. So I only was able to get a latte during one of the mornings because I didn't want to wait in the long line. But another really nice aspect Aspect of Java Blue is they have some grab and go options along with some for purchase desserts and drinks. In the mornings, they have freshly made breakfast sandwiches and they are absolutely delicious. So we came here most mornings to have one of these bacon, egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches on an English muffin. These are complimentary and you can get it with a side of fruit and a muffin. It is the perfect way to start today, but you don't have to go to the crowded buffet. And right next to Java Blue Cafe is the Cherry on Top. This is the candy store where you can come and purchase candy of all sorts and kinds. We didn't ever come in here to purchase candy, but this was a very popular spot on board for the kids. So if you want, you can purchase this candy per pound, but they also have different candy bars. I can see your cotton candy, fun dip, even little toys and lollipops. So any kind of maybe sweet treat that you can't find elsewhere on board, you can probably come to Cherry on Top and purchase it if you are having a sweet craving. Also located in Currents is this beautiful staircase, which is covered in mirrors and these swirling fish. So this was actually designed to make it feel as though you're entering this underwater world from up above. Now let's move to another specialty option on board, which is Fahrenheit 555. This is located on deck seven and it is the onboard steakhouse. Again, this is a specialty option, so you will have to pay a cover charge, but this is where you can find the highest quality cuts of meat on board Carnival Jubilee. The steakhouse is really beautiful and it has a really nice warm ambiance with these beautiful chandeliers and red velvet chairs. Outside of the Fahrenheit restaurant is the Fahrenheit bar if you wanna grab maybe a glass of wine before you go and sit down for your wonderful meal. And of course, what's a cruise ship without an art gallery? You can find the onboard art gallery on Carnival Jubilee located here on deck seven, right by the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. If you are into art auctions or you wanna purchase a piece of artwork to bring home, this is the place to do it. And now we have another signature carnival offering, which is the Alchemy Bar located on deck seven. This is the chemistry science themed bar. It is a carnival classic, so you can come here and have a different cocktail. They have a special cocktail every single day. And then they also have their own special medicine themed chemistry style type of drink menu. One of my favorites is the revved up mojito, but I decided to try something a little bit different here. I tried the pain relief, but there are a lot of different fun medicine themed cocktails. One thing I really like about the Alchemy Bar is its location. It is nicely located midship near all of the bars, lounges, and restaurants. So whether you're going to dinner or maybe a comedy show or a trivia in the Limelight Lounge, it's a good spot to just grab a drink. 
which leads us to our next spot on board, the Limelight Lounge on deck seven. If you are wanting to do maybe some trivia or some karaoke, you're likely going to be joining those activities here in the Limelight Lounge. This is, again, just one of the different lounges on board where they have activities throughout the day, mostly in the evening if you're in port, but there's also activities throughout the day if this is a sea day. You can also find the Limelight Lounge bar here so you don't even have to leave if you wanna get a drink. There isn't a special menu. This is just, again, the standard carnival menu, but really nice to be able to just grab a drink in there while you're enjoying whatever karaoke or trivia is happening. So now we're gonna move towards the shopping areas on board Carnival Jubilee. If you are someone who loves to shop and maybe wanna save on some duty-free taxes, then this is the place to do it because Carnival Jubilee has a lot of shopping options. So you can find everything from name brands to jewelry to very popular skincare options. If you come to this area, there's also liquor and wine and different types of alcohol that you can purchase to take home with you. You aren't able to actually drink these on the ship, but you will save some money probably if you purchase. In addition, there's a lot of fine jewelry on board, particularly the Effie brand. If you're someone who wants to purchase jewelry, whether that's necklaces, rings, earrings, or even just a more simple styled chain, you can do that on board. And now we're gonna move to the heart and soul of the inside of Jubilee, which is Grand Central. This is located midship and spans across decks six, seven, and eight. This is a beautiful outward facing venue where you can, during the day, enjoy the natural light with the windows open, but then in the evening, it transforms into this very versatile space with entertainment. Overall, Grand Central is a very busy spot. Throughout the cruise, seems like every single day of your vacation. Whether that's in the morning when people are grabbing coffee from Java Blue or a quick breakfast, whether that is deal or no deal, or maybe even bingo on a sea day, and then in the evenings when they have the big headliner production shows, it is a busy area. And you're in luck if you're wanting a drink because you can find that at the Grand View Bar located on deck seven. So this is the bar that will be serving the Grand Central area along with Center Stage Bar. This one is located on deck six midship and I love the retro neon type of style that this bar has. And of course, center stage is where you will find the headliner production shows with singers, dancers, aerialists, acrobats, you name it. This is where the big production shows happen in the evenings. They also even had a few little dance parties with live music throughout the cruise. But my hot tip is if you want to come, be sure you get there early because the seating is a little bit difficult and these shows are very popular. Now for my casino lovers, we're moving to the Jubilee Casino on deck seven midship. Of course, if you are wanting to gamble or play a little blackjack or sit at the slots during your cruise, then no need to worry, Carnival Jubilee has a very expansive casino on board. They have tons of different machines that you can play along with poker, blackjack, anything at those sit down tables during the day, which is likely a sea day. They have the windows open so you can get natural light and see the ocean. And then in the evening, it really transforms into a more nighttime venue. You can also grab a drink here at the casino bar, which features the standard carnival drink menu or any sort of standard cocktail. As you navigate throughout the inside of Carnival Jubilee, you will likely walk through the casino multiple times. This is a smoking area, so if you are a smoker or you maybe just want to avoid smoke, that's just a good fact to know. Now we'll move to the Jubilee Theater, which is located on deck six and seven forward. So the other production shows like Carnival's Playlist Productions, along with Family Feud and other game shows will take place in the Jubilee Theater. This is your standard cruise ship style theater with different production shows. Here is a new show that Carnival Jubilee has called Dear Future Husband, along with other singing and dancing styled shows. They also have game shows here throughout the cruise. And in our experience, it was a good idea to get here early because it did fill up quickly. And of course, the Love and Marriage game show that is just a cruise ship classic. Regardless, the Carnival Jubilee 
Theater here has pretty much a playlist production show every single evening or some type of game show for entertainment. Definitely a place to check out. Now we'll move to Chebang, which is on deck eight midship. And during this first inaugural season, Chebang is a complimentary dining venue on board. So this is a sit down restaurant that has both a Mexican and Asian menu. In my experiences, I have been really pleased with the Asian side of the menu. I really love the Kung Pao chicken and the spring rolls along with the Mandarin orange salad. This is my sister enjoying her cheese quesadilla, but overall, we really enjoyed the dining experience here, especially since it's a smaller dining room compared to the main dining room, but still a sit down meal. And of course, if you're on a carnival cruise, you have to try the chocolate cake, even at Chebang. The restaurant is beautifully decorated, it's very vibrant, and just has an overall fun atmosphere. And now we'll move to the Havana Bar and Pool, located on deck eight midship. The Havana Bar here has direct access to the Havana Suites on board Carnival Jubilee, which is a very nice perk of booking those themed suites. Every single evening of our cruise, the Havana Bar was very busy with people dancing, singing, and having cocktails. It was just a very lively and fun atmosphere, especially for those who like to dance. If you're staying in the Havana Suites or one of these balcony rooms here, you'll have access to your own special area on board. So this is the Havana Club where you have a hot tub, a pool along with loungers and even the Havana Bar. So this is only for those staying in Havana staterooms and suites and it's one of the perks of booking these themed staterooms. You'll want to make sure you reserve a Havana suite or stateroom while booking your cruise if this is something you want to have access to. Also located on deck eight is Bonsai. This is where you'll find the onboard sushi restaurant and also the teppanyaki restaurant. If you're a sushi lover and you have a sushi craving during your cruise, this is definitely an area to check out. They have freshly made sushi here. You can sit at the bar or even do a reservation for the specialty style restaurant. This is not included in the cost of your cruise, but you can purchase sushi here at an extra cost. Along with this, the teppanyaki experience is just really fun for everyone in your family. The chefs here do a lot of different tricks and shows while they cook your meal, and the food is also delicious. The teppanyaki is very popular on Carnival's Excel class ships, so I highly recommend booking this before you even get on board. And now we're gonna make our way to the photo studio and gallery located on deck eight midship. If you've cruised on Carnival before, you will know that you can take your professional photos virtually every single day, every moment of the day. Carnival loves having professional photographers pretty much everywhere, whether that is a posed photo or even just you stepping off the ship. If you are someone who wants to have professional photos taken, definitely take advantage of that on your cruise. And you can come here to the gallery to look at all of your photos that you've taken throughout your cruise vacation. So they no longer print all of the pictures like you maybe are used to on older ships, but instead you have these digital kiosks where you can look at your photos. Here is where you can purchase those photos. You could have them printed on board. In addition, you can buy frames or memory books or scrapbooks, anything related to photography. This is where you'll want to come. Now we're moving into our next zone, which is the shores. The shores is located on deck eight midship. And the shores is designed to feel as though you're walking on a boardwalk. You can find there are different themes here like the Carnival Slice for pizza along with Cucina del Capitano. This is a complimentary restaurant on board Carnival Jubilee where you can have an Italian sit down meal. Cucina del Capitano has dinner every night of the cruise along with lunches served on the sea days. And the lunch menu is different than the dinner menu, so I highly recommend coming here for both lunch and dinner during your cruise if you like Italian food. Everything we had at Cucina del Capitano was delicious, including the meatballs, the spaghetti carbonara, the chicken parmesan, and the tiramisu for dessert. They also serve other options like this braised short rib. You'll want to request a dining time here through your Carnival app and then you are alerted when your dinner table is ready. One thing I love about Cucina del Capitano is the decoration inside. They have pictures of Italy everywhere and then they also have some old tiny photos of Carnival sailing throughout regions in Italy. 
It's just a really nice place to have a delicious Italian homestyle meal. And located right outside of Cucina del Capitano is the Marina Bar, located on Deck 8 midship. This is a great place to grab a fun cocktail before you maybe are heading to Cucina del Capitano for dinner or you're maybe going out to Deck 8 to sit outside and enjoy your drink. But Marina Bar has both an inside and outside area to grab a drink and their own special menu with Marina style cocktails. And of course, Carnival is also known for its pizza and on Jubilee it's called Coastal Slice located on Deck 8 midship. So going along with the Shores Boardwalk Carnival theme, this is where you can find freshly made pizza on Jubilee. And while waiting in line, you can see them make the pizzas right in front of you. They have a few different selections to choose from like pepperoni, margarita, and a four cheese. You can even order an entire pizza to take back with you if you want, but you can expect to find some lines here as the pizza is very popular. However, I found it to be very delicious and worth the wait. And if you can go there during an off peak time, you can probably walk right up because they usually have pizzas already prepared. Beach Buns is where you can come to get a freshly made sandwich. This is also complimentary as well as the pizza next door, but they have a variety of different sandwiches and paninis along with hot dogs and soups here. One of our favorites is the meatball marinara sandwich, but honestly, everything we tried from Beach Buns was delicious. Overall, the Shores is a very fun, very popular spot on board because it has multiple different dining options as well as indoor and outdoor seating. Now we're gonna to move to another specialty restaurant. This is Rudy's Sea Grill, located on deck eight near the Shores. If you are wanting a sit down specialty restaurant experience and you are a seafood lover, then this is the option for you. There's a very fun theme with the blue chairs along with the seafood style plates. So if you're wanting to dine here, make sure you make a reservation. And I recommend again to make those reservations before you even get on board. And now we'll move to Carnival Adventures. This is located on deck eight midship, and this is where you can book your shore excursions while on board Carnival Jubilee. This is a really nice area because they have these digital screens where you can actually log into your portfolio and book an excursion right from that desk. And now we'll take a look at guest services. This is also located on deck eight midship right by Carnival Adventures. So if you have any questions about your onboard account or anything that needs to be sorted out with some of the guest services crew members. And I recommend that you come before the last night of the cruise if you have any questions because the last night of the cruise, you will find a huge line here at guest services. The Cloud Nine Spa is located near the front of the ship and it's also closely located to the Jubilee Theater. Now Carnival Jubilee has a state-of-the-art spa on board. Here is where you'll find the spa, the salon, and also the thermal suite where you can purchase passes for the duration of your cruise. If you are needing to get your hair cut or maybe you want to get a little trim or some highlights, then you can do that on board as well as getting any sort of nail treatment or pedicure done. You'll find that the spa has a variety of different treatments, whether that's for your hair, nails, or even your face. And now we'll take a look at the thermal spa. So if you are wanting to purchase a pass for the thermal spa, you'll have access to this pool area along with these heated loungers and the sauna. There is also a relaxation room in the cloud nine spa area, which is just a really serene and tranquil space to relax. Now you might not be thinking about working out on your cruise and that's totally fine, but if you're wanting to hit up the gym, you will find that also located on deck six forward, the cloud nine fitness. So if you're wanting to maybe lift some weights or get on an elliptical or even run on a treadmill, you can come to the cloud nine fitness area and get a good workout in. And if you get one of the machines by the ocean, you'll have a beautiful view of the ocean while working out. They also have group fitness classes along with these separate areas. If you'd rather have more privacy, these different rooms are pretty much available during the cruise if there's not a class being taught there. Overall, the Cloud9 Spa is just a really nice place to either come get a workout in or have some sort of relaxing massage or treatment if you're looking for that during your cruise. Next, we'll move down to deck four, and this is where you'll find Camp Ocean. 
Camp Ocean is located on deck four midship, and this is the Kids Club Youth Programming Onboard Carnival Jubilee. Parents are able to come and sign up their kids to be part of the Camp Ocean experience on Carnival Jubilee. They accept kids from ages 0 to 11, and they are actually broken down into different groups. So the turtles are ages 0 to 1, while the penguins are ages 2 to 5, stingrays are ages 6 to 8, and then the sharks are ages 9 to 11. The kids will be broken up into their age group, and then they have activities and crafts and different entertainment specifically curated for kids of their age and they'll also be with kids of similar age with this program and of course everything is supervised with a trained member of carnival staff so you don't have to worry about your child's safety camp ocean is included in the cost of your cruise unless you have a very young child that might need the nursery care or the late night owls drop-off program this does incur an extra fee Camp Ocean is full of toys and movies and games and tons of different things to keep your kids occupied. This is just also a really nice opportunity for parents to have some alone or adult time and not have to worry about their child's safety. Carnival has a very well established youth programming on board. So I recommend getting your children signed up when you get on board and then that will allow you to drop them off throughout your cruise. And now we'll work our way into the Family Harbor. This is another themed stateroom area on board located on deck four right by Camp Ocean. The Family Harbor staterooms have a nautical theme simply because that is the idea of bringing your family together on a vacation. And you also receive extra benefits when you stay in the Family Harbor staterooms and suites. The Family Harbor staterooms are located near the Family Harbor Lounge, and this is an exclusive spot featuring breakfast in the morning, snacks throughout the day, and then activities like board games, family movies, video games, and more. As you explore the rest of the ship, the Family Harbor benefits come along with your kids eating free in most onboard specialty restaurants, Plus you receive one free evening of Night Owl's babysitting service so you can get some very much deserved alone time. And now we'll take a look at some of these staterooms on board Carnival Jubilee. So you'll be able to find the staterooms on decks four, five, and then through eight to 17. Carnival Jubilee's cabins are very modern and functional along with being quite spacious. During our cruise, we stayed in a cove balcony on deck five. So because of this, we had a little more space than say an interior cabin has. We had a couch here along with our own private balcony and a huge vanity area where we had so much storage. I was also really impressed with the bathrooms on board Carnival Jubilee. I appreciated the large walk-in shower along with so much space for our storage. And of course, the highlight of our cruise was the cove balcony. This was my first time staying in a cove balcony, and I was really impressed by how private and secluded it felt because of that cove enclosure. We were also located closer to the water, and this was probably the closest I've ever been to the ocean in a balcony. So I would highly recommend considering a cove balcony if you're someone who wants to have that special private veranda space. Overall, Carnival Jubilee has truly so much to offer for every family. I appreciated all of the dining options, especially including how much was actually included in your cruise fare. I didn't feel like I was being nickel and dimed on board Carnival Jubilee, and I really appreciated that. So many of the activities and onboard thrills that you can find at the Ultimate Playground are included in your cost, but if you're wanting to splurge, you can find that on board too. You can indulge in a massage at the spa or maybe an upscale meal at one of the specialty dining restaurants, or maybe you wanna take a ride on the only roller coaster at sea. Regardless, you are sure to have a wonderful time on Carnival Jubilee from the moment you step on board. Carnival really brings the fun with all of the entertainment and activities. I would argue that you will probably run out of time to eat and do everything you want to do while on board. All right, everybody, that is our full length tour of Carnival Jubilee. Comment below if you have ever sailed on Carnival Jubilee and what your favorite space is on board. And be sure to like and subscribe to Cruise Vlogs so that you can be notified every time we have a new video. We have more full length ship tours coming. And until next time, happy cruising.